Good morning, good morning, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Can you say that with me? Say, I will rejoice.
Good morning, St. James. Some may not know, I'm Dr. Michael Ward, uh, pro tem of the steward board. And one of the official duties of this particular position is to welcome and read in our new pastor. You know, with this, we've been celebrating the 168th session of the Missouri Annual Conference this week. And I'm telling you, it has been a very busy week, and St. James is so well represented. We are, any place you look, there we are. So I'm uh, very proud of all the work that we're involved with, and uh, thankful for the opportunity for all of us to serve in whatever capacity we're serving in. Uh, as the delegate representing St. James this, this week, uh, I had the pleasure of uh, standing up with our, with our uh, contingent from St. James after Pastor gave his uh, annual report to ask the bishop to, uh, to send uh, Reverend Norris back to St. James. So I said without hesitation or equivocation, St. James AME Church wants Reverend Charles Norris back at St. James.
for me.
this is my key. Amen. I was trying to move forward. I was going to kind of slip past. I love you. know, we'll do this thing, but, you know, but the mentor is it too. And make sure you do things the right way. Amen. And so since I had this one, if y'all, y'all give us one more song after this. Amen. Amen. But I want to, since we have this moment, I want to do two things. Before I present our speaker, I want to see you saw. Uh, some are called her Priscilla. Some are called the Dr. Dallin White. Number of things. But you see them with a collar on them. And uh, she just didn't make it up. So we want to acknowledge Amen. She has received the most precious thing in African Methodism that are the ministerial orders. We don't just give them to anybody. In fact, when we give them to people, we tell them, we let them use them. Because if you don't act right, we'll take them back. Amen, somebody. You got to stand for something and live something. Amen. But then if that were not enough, we also had the honor of having the consecration of a deaconess. Amen. Our own sister Lillian Williams. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Uh, I think it's last week or two weeks ago. Still water runs deep. Amen. She may not say much, but she can control a whole lot without using her hands. With a look, with a smile. Amen. So we thank God for what you've been to St. James. Amen. And in the We do have a preacher in the house, amen? We have a preacher that believes and cries loud and spirit. He is not afraid of the gospel, nor nobody else that I have come to know, amen? He has always been one that has stood for social justice. You know, he's the kind of brother you can't take to the grocery store with you. Because of something that right here. Look, here, here, you have to say something and, and if they ain't acting right. Amen. He's not afraid to put things in their proper order. He's the son of an Episcopal leader. The son of the second woman to be consecrated a bishop in the church. Bishop, the Bishop Kitchen. He is also a father. He's a husband. Husband of my Zeta sister. Amen. Dr. Nina, who was, was no, 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 she, she's somebody in her own right, Dr. Nina. Amen. He told me when you all laughed about all of those things that, uh, all those uh, committees that I'm on. And he said, oh, he kind of laughed. And I said, how do you know? Because he's the dean of all the deans of the fifth district. Amen. He's the chair of the finance committee. He see he is a leader not only in his uh, annual conference, the Desert Mountain Conference, but he is a leader in this church. And he aspires to be elevated to the office of bishop. Amen. So they say, you know, if you just somewhere, a man taking a walk is just a man taking a walk. But he is an individual that he didn't come by himself. His wife, Peter, is here. Amen. Some members from uh, from from Shore AMB Church, including their pro tem. His pro tem is here with him as well. Amen. Yeah. And so it is good. And we have some other folk in the house. Amen. From Desert Mountain. And so the next speaking voice that you will hear after the choir represents another selection, amen, will be none other than that of Reverend Dr. Timothy Tyler. God bless him. Extend your hand to him. Say, God, pour out a fresh anointing so that brother can
give a few more words of testimony right quick. Today, this week I finished my first week of radiation treatment. And I'm so thankful to God. And this little song was on my heart. I want to show you. Why should I feel? I don't have the strength that I normally have. This courage.
gracious Lord, we thank you this morning that your eye is on the sparrow and that you are watching us. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. God, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name. Can you help me bless the Lord in this house? It is absolutely a blessing to be in St. James one more time. The pastor wanted to push me up here without telling y'all that he gave me permission to be up here. <laughs> It's been 20 years since I preached at St. James A.M.E. Church. I need somebody to tell y'all that I have permission to be at this night this morning. Amen. It is very well. I'm grateful to him for the invitation, and I don't take it lightly. We are absolutely, positively proud of the preacher that the Reverend Charles Norris has become. Would you help me give God praise? Yes, yes. I'm grateful to those who have traveled with me from Shorter Community AME Church. I'm thankful and grateful to my wife, Dr. Dwayne Bosby Tiger.
They gather around Caesar. And one by one by one, they take their daggers out. You've seen it. And they stab Caesar in the back. Have you ever been there before? Mm -hmm. When the one who loves you the most stabs you in the back. But the most really part of this scene was when Caesar's best friend, Ace Boom Cooper. That's not Shakespeare. <laughs> Everybody deserted me. 
young mentee, Jerry. Yes. He, he's, he's trying to describe the ugliness that occurs when we serve the Lord sometimes. Sometimes we should have it. Sometimes we say it's, it's naming and claiming and grabbing
You think you haven't suffered anything yet? Well, the grandmother said, just keep on, keep on living. Come on, I need some witnesses in our Keep on living. But then Paul thinks about it some more. And he says to Timothy, all my compadres deserted me. But I'm not going to leave you here with bad news. He says the good news is when human beings step out, come on, somebody. The Lord, come on, give me some shout. The Lord, come on, come on, say, the Lord. Can I tell you something? All my head comes from. says, the Lord stood with me. Have you ever wondered what the ancestors were talking about when they said he's a doctor in the sick room? Come on, somebody. And the lawyer in the court. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When the friend step out, Jesus steps in. Paul says, he, he called me and he kept me. Yeah, yeah.
was a word, was a word. Yeah. You know, he one of them people, that's, a, that's Timothy preaching time. Amen. Amen. We thank God for his willingness to serve. Amen. 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 We thank God. Amen for each and every one of you. Amen. And I pray that as we continue to go through this worship service, but more importantly, as you continue to go through life, know where your help comes from. They talk about looking for love in all the wrong places. Stop looking for help in all the wrong places. My last charge that I was at in, in La Jolla, California, thought because I was a part of all these organizations, because I was five meter sigma, because I was 100 black men, because I was boule, because I was all that other stuff, that Negroes are going to come to help me build the church to, to do the work. But, but, but we forget what the word says. The harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. I was putting out the call for the cavalry to come. And, and, and and I looked at the cross. And the Spirit said, That's the only Calvary. That's the only Calvary. That's the only Calvary. Stop trying to get out of stuff. Let God work out. God knows what God is doing. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's hurt. Yeah, you cry sometimes. Yeah, it's all.
I've had some good days and some bad days. Amen. Amen. But I know one thing. I am doing what I should be doing. That's what I want to say. So I want to thank you all for a wonderful pastor's appreciation. Uh, I will be making it around to thank everyone individually. That's what the Lord put in my spirit. I know I've said thank you. But I'm going to make it to every, each and every one of you all. And personally, say thank you. Amen? Because it means a whole lot to me. I, 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 I can show you the scars, the stab wounds. Amen? The folk that, that done me wrong, the stab you in the back, and all of that stuff. But you know it's something God can take you forward. Brother Charles, God can take you forward. And you're not thinking about that. Amen. 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 I'm saying something to you. Learn how to walk with God. Amen. 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 Walk with God. Let God handle some of that stuff. That's why you're so stressed out sometimes. You're trying to fix. You're trying to hold your tongue. You're trying to keep your hands to yourself. God handle some of that stuff.